episode 74 of Trust the... We're not doing My that. name's Helen Bauer. This is Catherine Bohar. Hi. A podcast where we talk about everything that we're doing, which is all amazing because we're just two young bitches running around London, thriving, slash the world, thriving. And then we're going to have on our guest, Heidi Regan, who's also thriving. Is thriving your word of the week? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's got shows coming up at the Soho Theatre. We're going to have a lovely chat. We're going to listen to some of your fucking problems. Here we go. What's your problems this week, gals? <laughs> Let's hear them. Who's moved to a new city? Who's feeling lonely? Who's had a breakup? Who's but had Helen, a problem you're missing at the school? Point, which is episode 74 is our international episode. It's an international we've both been episode. on a holiday. <laughs> and Heidi's from bloody Australia. That counts. Well, um, Newcastle, Australia. Listen, we'll make it work. Okay. We'll make okay. it work. It's a um, thing. Through the fog, step for the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them, or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs. Trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. Hi, well, how I was guess, New York? I don't know. I guess I'm just a New Yorker now. <laughs> Were you? Was it I amazing? Don't to say it. Did you eat a mac and cheese pizza? A rigatoni pizza. Oh, excuse me. I had it twice. <laughs> you had it twice. <laughs> I Wait, full pizza stop. or by the slice? If they do it by the slice. Nice. The full pizza, even for me, I was like, that's a line it's too excessive. far. excessive. So what are we talking? We're talking base tomato sauce. So I would say marinara, marinara sauce. Yeah, okay. Marinara. Yeah, you would so, so say that. So I was that. going like, That's so grab you. a slice. <laughs> That's just me now. Um, there was a place really close to our estate. Wait, go back, in... rewind. What's on top of the sauce? Pasta. And? Cheese. Oh my, but it, does the pasta have like a ricotta sauce? Does it have a ma- mozzarella sauce? Level with you. Yeah. My eating is so fast. Right, so you didn't. I don't always have time to like really figure out what's going on. Did and you then, read the menu? So looking at the picture afterwards is more of a figuring out what happened. Okay. But in the moment, it's more like a, oh, okay, this is a job. I need to get it done. And right. Have you ever considered competitive eating? Yes, I have actually many okay. times. Yeah, because the way you do it, like it feels like you like dipped it in water and tried to swallow it whole. <laughs> <laughs> like the way you describe it, I'm like, huh? I did say both times I've been to America this year because I've gone twice because I'm crazy mad. Um, You're I so have crazy. thought both times I should so do a competitive eating thing. I'd love to see you do because it because I do think I can eat past the pain barrier with no stress. Mm. Um, I don't really chew in general. I'm more of a swallower because mm. it's like I'm such a natural like binger. I can really a pelican stuff down. You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> fine. Hey, I'm fine. Hey, let's hold hands. Oh, hand is hey. so warm. Thank you. Catherine. Oh yeah, let's hold hands. Ooh, oh, new ring. Do you have oh. a new ring? Oh, um, no, old ring. But thank you very much for noticing. Cutesy. I uh, proposed to myself on top of the empire. Babe, State you're wearing Island. a middle finger ring. Um, it's actually the gayest I've ever seen you look. Can I just? Is that gay? Middle finger, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thumb and middle finger is pretty gay, baby. I want to tell you everything I did. Please. I feel like you've got a lot to say about Iceland, but like New York is just so much better. Like, uh-huh. I don't know. Have you been? We don't have to compete. Have you been? I have been many times. So, like, many times. Twice, yourself. three times. <laughs> okay. And many times. I've so been twice. Me too, twice, because I went once as a teenager, so mm. like, I get it. Um, I'd say... Oh, three times. I feel I'd like say the first day was difficult. Why? I landed... One day was out that evening. Was drinking late. So I got told if you stay out late, the first the night, you don't you. have jet lag. Yeah. But then I felt rough. And then someone had said, "Oh, you should go to Ground Zero. It's really no. beautiful." So I got up the first morning. I was there. The first morning you yeah, had... because it was a recommendation. It was a recommendation. Hung over, you took your ass to Ground yes. Zero, and what just contemplated all the lost lives. So it's awful. Yes, Helen. It's awful. Yes, like, Helen. And I knew, we, know. I, we obviously we knew about it and stuff because like you know about 9-11. But being there, yeah. I mean, I'll say this, very beautiful. I don't know. You know what, how you feel about Diana? Yeah. A lot of people feel that way about 9-11. I know, that's I, how I feel important. now. I went, it was awful, It Catherine. feels like you could be a bit more sensitive. Do you want to hear the worst thing about it? I feel like I already did. Okay, The go World on. Trade Centre Transportation Centre is a um, Pokemon gym. What is wrong 
with you? Why did you figure that out? Why did you take your phone out to even check? How mad is that? And then I had to go to a Starbucks and call Gwyneth because I was so distraught. I was like, have you heard about this thing? Because you lost some sort of battle at the gym? No, because of the the, the monument, Catherine. You rang Gwyneth to see if she'd heard of 9-11. She'd heard about it, but she was like, I don't think you should have gone there on your first day. Obviously, hung over. I knew that as well, I think, deep down. Hung over and jet lagged alone? Oh, my, yeah, alone. What is wrong with Everyone you? Everyone else has already been. It's like you don't know yourself at all, or you I refuse know. to learn any lessons I about yourself. I should have gone to the big toy shop, and Obviously. I realised that pretty quickly afterwards. Yeah, why, why would you refuse to learn anything about yourself? <laughs> I don't know. And then I was meeting someone later Are you going to cry now? <laughs> I can't, Helen. Get, are you crying? This is incredibly powerful. Oh, fuck off. Honestly, I do recommend if you're going to New York, go to Ground Zero. Like it is, it's it's hard and heavy hitting, but I do think it's important. No, I hate you right okay. now. Please move on. And then on. I went to the Natural History Museum, which wait for this, um, is the one from Night, Night of the, the Museum. Museum with Ben Stiller. <laughs> so good, it was so good. And I went bum. But this thing, I spent basically the whole time by myself. It does sound like that now, which it feels <laughs> terrible for you. Like sometimes when I see you in Edinburgh and you spent like the morning alone, I'm like, oh. <laughs> something's go, something's gotta give. Something's gonna give. I feel like you shouldn't spend this much time alone in a different country. Like it makes everyone melancholic. But with you, I don't think that's a good vibe. I was just like, I, everyone had been before, like quite a few times. The people that I was there with. So like like I went with Olga Koch and she went to uni there. So like a lot of people like had other friends to go see and they had like they done all the big things. So I was sort of like ticking everything off by myself. I hate this for so you. I, I wish to, I'd gone I went with to you. MoMA by myself and saw lots That'd of painting. Cool. That's actually yeah, quite, that's a cool, cool thing to do alone because you don't need to dick around what, waiting for other people's opinions. I, twice late at night, I went to Times Square to look at the lights. That's, a, <laughs> that's actually so fair. I'm sorry, that is so fair. The first time I went to New York and I came up at Times Square, yeah. like as in from the subway, not on drugs. I was like... From the uh, Rockefeller Center um, Times Square exit. That's I, I literally did. was like, I know this, I know it's like when you, you can't get around a tourist in Piccadilly Circus and you're like, come the fuck on. Yeah. But I was like, oh my God, it's this place insane. is magical. Like I really was like, what is this? I was like an old timey like, have you seen the lights? Like, But you are in a movie the entire time. It's yeah. insane. And then like I walked to 30 Rock, to like Rockefeller Plaza because I used to love watching 30 Rock. Mm-hmm. It was the best mm-hmm. thing ever. And um, there was a queue of people on the street. And I was like, it's like minus one. I was like, why are they queuing up? They were queuing up for SNL the night before. Fuck off. How insane is that? Really? But like, really, they were really happy about it. Who was hosting? Woody, Har- is it Woody Harrelson? Harrelson? Harrelson. Harrelson. Woody Har- Har- I know his face. The guy from Triangle of Sadness. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just all Woody Harrison. It was so good. And I Harrelson. ate everything. I ate Harrelson. everything. Harrelson. I ate Catherine, Harrelson. stop saying I ate everything. Sorry. Okay, so <laughs> like, I ate everything. Uh, um, that's great. So, what else did you eat other than the pizza with ricotta on? Probably rigatoni. Rigatoni. Sorry, rigatoni. Um, I had. I went to Milk Bar where they do the cereal milk mm. ice cream. I did that right after the pizza, and then had to go and have a little nap. That's my girl. Um, I had a meatball hero. Mm, what's that? Which is just it's a subway sandwich. Mm. That's it. It was it was it was too much. There you go. I'll say it. It's too much. Whoa. Um, I had. Oh my god! What didn't I have? I went to Momo Fuku Noodle Bar Yum. by myself with my Pokemon. Did you go to Sprinkles where they do the cupcake out of the ATM? No, but they do do I that in it. Florida so as well. Cool. Sprinkles, so, so cool. and they sing a song. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I didn't have that, but I did everything else. I did everything okay. else. That sounds great. I'm just like I'm ready to go back now. I saw the Friends apartment. Oh my god! You really <laughs> did do it all. Did you go to Central Park? Yes. Nice. Yes, me and Olga went any, to Central Park. Eat any Mexican food? Oh dear. That's okay. That's oh. okay. No, that, no, 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 no. It's not like you were in. Like you're not like you were near the near the border. I just because it, just in the states, it's better than here. Oh dear. Hey, hey. I did in I did in Nashville. Gorgeous. Then you just you were just okay. there. Okay. Fucking hell! You've been on a lot of holidays. I thrived, and also I got a room with bunk beds, and it was so fun. So, just to um, for my peace of mind, and I watched my girl for the first time. Oh my god! I've been what? in an insane week what? in New York. That's I watched my crazy. Girl. Yeah. But can I just circle back? So yes. just some, and I listen. I don't want to shit on your holiday, rain on your parade. Okay. Anything, but just, <gasps> well, I saw Funny Girl, so that also makes sense. Don't rain on my parade. Yeah. Yes. Um. Just, but just one question. Okay. Are you? Cause like, Nashville. Yeah. New York. Yeah. You're going to see Hitler's 
um, nest for your it's bird. Eagle's nest. Eagle's, Eagle's nest. nest. Sorry, my apologies. Um, does it, are you are we saving any of the money? Saving any of the money? Mm. No, this is not a saving year. Not a saving year. Yeah, this is not a saving year. What does that mean? Like, I'm not going to save this year. I'm going to enjoy because life's for the living. Mm. Also, remember what I was saying last week about I don't think I'm going to live that long because of the tall lady theory? I don't buy this. Did, did anybody tweet in any elderly tall people? Yeah, someone wrote on YouTube that they knew an old tall woman, one person, Oy. which feels like an anomaly. That's not optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> Anything, M? Did they, anybody tweet us at all? Um, no tweets that I've seen. Mm. But yeah, the YouTube comment was n not particularly reassuring. Oh, you're also tall. Okay. Well, hey, in that case, you know what? Live it up, baby. I have to Live travel. I have to drive. <laughs> also, I am definitely going to go on a tour later this year. So that'll be no traveling when that happens. Yeah, so like, I have to do it all now. Oh. And also, what sort of woman doesn't want to go to Hitler's Eagle's Nest for her 32nd birthday? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going yeah. with Emma Black. It'll be so fun. It really will be yeah. so fun. Okay, my turn? Yes. Okay, fine. fine. Unless you want to do, we'll do presents at the end. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, um... Okay, let me let me ask you like we're doing a proper interview. <laughs> Catherine, have you seen anywhere amazing recently? Oh my god, um, funny you should ask, Helen. I was just in Iceland for my girlfriend's thirtieth birthday. Was it cold? No, we're not going to talk about her <laughs> okay. turning thirty. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, it was so cold, but only like because I had been in Finland on that job in December, which was mm. minus twenty, <gasps> minus sixteen, <laughs> one and zero degree and minus one felt like positively fine actually. But it was honestly okay. I, first of all, I want to like flag. We are so fucking lucky. Like, I feel so lucky. I, that's all I felt when I was there was like overwhelmed with good fortune to be there. I haven't really, I'm, I in the last five years haven't really gone on many holidays. As you know, I'm more of a like, but what if I could work? Vibe. You've been good recently. I'm a yeah. I'm trying to. But we went for her birthday, and she planned it within an inch of its life, yes. and it was just. Oh, it was so nice to be on holiday with like a person who's adventurous because I'm so risk averse that I would never even, I'd be like, well, that'll be dangerous. Oh my God. Where she's like, it'll probably be fine. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, oh, well now I have no excuse not to. <laughs> what was try. the dangerous thing you did? Just like, we went to Reykjavik also, it was like we were... <laughs> you went to Reykjavik. Oh, no, we went to Reykjavik. Danger! No, we went to Reykjavik. Also, by the way, everyone's too cold to be homophobic. No one even noticed we were gay. Love, Love it there. That. Love it there. Big gay street, fabulous. But also, it was like we got incredibly, like, it was like this weird sort of daydreamy look. So we got there, and this woman, I was like, oh, nice necklace. And she was like, thank you. Have an upgrade. Have free drinks. Have a great time in Reykjavik. We were like, huh? Then we get on this tour the wait, next... Wait, wait, wait. You got an upgrade on the flight out? On the room, when we got right. there to oh the, the like, yeah, she's like, why don't you have a nicer room? And I had not booked that nicer room, so I was like, nice. Then the next morning, we had booked this tour. We were going to get off near the end of it and not come back to Reykjavik. And you know when you're just like, I hope this tour is real. This guy la like la saunters into our hotel at 8.30 and is <laughs> like, Ellen, Catherine. And you're like, okay, great, this is happening. We go on the most magical tour I've ever been. Oh. It was like... Ellen's obsessed with whales. We were going to the <laughs> west coast to see whales. But Aww. on this trip, the first beach we get off at, he's like, a whale was just beached here recently. So there's the spine all still on the beach. The like skeleton of the spine. We were like, huh? And he was like, yes, a sperm whale. Would you like to see the pictures of the whale as it was? Would you like to see this? She's losing her mind. Wait, did it explode? Um, no, they opened it so that it wouldn't. She had all these questions too. Okay, did it yeah. stink, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently it did. Because they do, they do explode. It's amazing. That's why they pierced it because it's like, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. then um, on that same beach, there's like, um, what are they called? Um, yes, seals mating. And Oh, wait, like like properly? like. Well, like actually they were just kind of flopping around in their bellies okay. and it was really cute. But like like getting somewhere. But getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, we saw like, like everything. The thing was, everything was so breathtaking. You'd be like... You'd, you'd see some, sorry, you'd see something and be like, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And then you turn like 10 degrees left and be like, nope, that is, nope, that is. Like everything was- so Oh my God, I want to go. This sounds amazing. It's honestly like no, no country I've ever been to. It's like, there's wild Arctic horses running everywhere. <gasps> what? I Those know. don't exist. They do. And wild they're tiny. Arctic and they're horses. tiny. They're like just a bit bigger than than like ponies. They're basically, the, and they, <laughs> that's why they couldn't film Lord of the Rings there because they wanted to. But then they were like, oh, you can't, Im there's a rule. You can't import horses to Iceland. But the horses are so small that they couldn't put the grown male actors on them because it would just look ridiculous. Oh, I love it. It's Little so, ponies. I know this. Snow ponies. It's unbelievable. 
unbelievable. Then we go to this um, place in the West Coast and a thousand people live there. We get off this bus and it's just like bliss, like like kind of blizzardy snow. Oh he God. drives away and I think, what the fuck have we done? This is <laughs> this is tr- this is crazy. This is the and death. this is the hostel place, right? So yes. I'm like, fuck, here we go. Yes. We're going to a hostel. We get there. It is the live, laugh, love of hostels. <gasps> we walk in. It's all white, pristine. Oh this woman's God. like, hi. Welcome, come on in. She has hearts with like very Emma Black with like phrases yeah, that don't yeah. mean anything everywhere. Oh my God, yes. The place is so clean. When you get up in the morning, she's already made a pot of coffee. <gasps> she's like, hey, it'd be super if you didn't cook after 9.30, but I have everything in. You're like, huh? It was stunning. Oh, that's not a hostel. I know. Um, that is not a, no. The only thing that made it a hostel was that like, it was like a little bit like matter of fact, like, Everything was great. It there was, was like someone else in the dorm. Was that the yeah? Only there was somebody thing? else staying, and the kitchen was shared. Just one person. There. But also there was no. There were like six men. That was the thing. Is we saw Fine. two other women and six other men. But it meant the bathroom was like all ours. So this shared bathroom deal that I was petrified about was fine. And Ellen was so cute. She'd brought like and thankfully didn't need it, but like had brought. I didn't realize she brought a cloth and cleaning products in case that it was going to be bad for me. I know I was like, Holy what a woman. shit. I know. I mean, gorgeous move from Ellen. If you went with a guy, how fucking Imagine. sexist I know. <laughs> and offensive would that be? And yes, no, you not, can't not, have it Not all. for me. He was going to do it. She was going to, he was going to, she was going to do it. Now <laughs> oh I'm gonna, my God. I know what an angel. Then we, then we get up the next morning and honestly, we've predicated this entire trip. I like, I've been like, it's your 30th. Your dream is to see Wales. I'm going to take you to see Wales. But yeah. obviously that is not a guarantee. Oh no. So we get up the next morning and we're going for this boat and I am, she is like bounding along. <laughs> I am shitting it. I'm like, if there's no whales, this is fucked. Like we are just ultimately in a hostel. I've in said the this last of SeaWorld, you just go to SeaWorld. It's not a big deal. Okay. Um, in the middle of nowhere and the, like, the restaurant, the only restaurant in the place is open three hours a day, three days a week. Like there's nothing to do. There's a garage. That's it, right? I'm like, this is a hellscape if we don't. And, <laughs> oh, and the first night we didn't make it in time to buy booze. Oh, so we no. had to drink Fanta and play cards. We actually had such a laugh, but it's like, that's not. The, oh like, my that's God. That's not the vibe. I can't hear these romantic <laughs> holiday stories. I'm sorry. I'm that's really not trying. That's romantic. That's we not we had to drink Fanta and play cards, but we had the best time. <laughs> I can't hear this lesbian nonsense anymore. I okay, can't. well, anyway, so we get up the next morning and we go on this boat. And, like, we're out on the boat, like, ten minutes, and they're like, oh, it's a humpback. We're like, what? Yeah, they're like, it's a humpback and her calf. We're like, what? Oh, ten my God, minutes what? in. Like, te- eat, like, max, max. And then they're like, oh, it's more humpback. Let's go over there. It's a male. We're like, oh, my God, losing our minds. And then... They are like, oh, and there's a the, this is the smallest breed of uh, whale that we have in Iceland. It's a harbour porpoise. We, they're usually petrified of people. They usually disappear as soon as we're here. Oh, look, there's loads of them. Oh, they're just hanging out. Oh, they're playing. We're like <laughs> losing Wait, our Wait, what's shit. a harbour porpoise? It's like a very small whale. They're like a metre long max, right? Oh, oh my God, like the, uh, the Arctic pony of so, whales. Exactly, so cute. <laughs> and then eventually, <laughs> after a while, so we're taking pictures of these. They're like, you're hearing, they're like... Poof. The whole boat is honestly silent. Like you couldn't hear a pin drop. And they're like children on the boat. Like no one, everyone's just in awe of this. And after a while, they're like, okay, we're going to move off. And you're like, what? Why? There are so, there are humpback whales here. Why are we moving off? And I could feel Ellen's dream was to see an orca. And I could feel her being like hoping it's because they think that I could. But I was oh like, God. don't say anything. Do not, don't panic. I was like, maybe they've seen an orca. Don't panic. And then I turn around and she's weeping. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God, oh God. And then they're like, and at nine o'clock, <gasps> you'll see a pot of orcas has arrived where we are. And then we're surround- like the oh And then my God. she's crying. I'm filming her. The, uh, obviously, because I'm not like, I'm the Chris Jenner of the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, look at it. This is when, I'm just going to show you oh my a God, please do of, um, this is when she just seen someone. Oh, <laughs> she, I'm not going to show that. Just no. to describe it for the listener: mouth hanging open, eyes glazed over, really big, just like dumbfounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah just so. First happy. orgasm about so two happy. minutes afterwards. <laughs> so happy. Maybe. So what do you reckon? Happy. Yeah. She was, just <laughs> so, she was just so happy. Oh my god! You saw a pod of orcas. Does that mean they had their baby orcas with them? We saw baby humpbacks, no baby orcas, but we saw this orca called um, Captain Hook, who has a slightly 
um, bit, dorsal fin. A bit at no, not a dorsal fin, but a bit out of his fin. Oh, That's how he got the name, and he was such a show off. He was like, "What up, y'all? Want to see an orca?" And it was like, "Yes, please." And he was like, "Sweet, watch this." And Did you feed like, them? Did you throw in fish? No, 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 no. It's no, not, like, it's no not, you don't. You wouldn't it's do okay, that. Okay, that's all right. Okay, yeah. Um, but it was just incredible, and <laughs> also it was like a women-run boat. I don't know. It was just so cool. Anyway, Wait, women were running the boat. Yeah, and this is insane. I know. And the spotter who was up the top had her dog with her, so it was her. No. And the, her and the dog just looking for orcas and then they found some and we were all like yay does a pony <laughs> welcome you back to the land this is, okay so this is what I mean they just line no, up but Helen something. I shit you not we get, so we get off the boat and we are laughing about what a fucking joke of a trip it is like we were like oh I God. said to Ellen like if a seagull shot out a heart love heart right yeah, now yeah. I'd be like that fits yeah. we look down in the water <laughs> I'm gonna get her to send you the pic- send me the picture. Looked out of the water and like the size of a handbag. There's this like big ice p- piece of ice that is in oh. the perfect shape of a heart. <laughs> and she was like, Catherine, and I was like, fuck off. No, no, we just had to get off the boat. We were like, even we were like, that's an- that's enough of that. That's insane. This that's is insane. insane. This is the it was, trip of a lifetime. It was crazy. And so then we get back and the only restaurant is open suddenly. So we're like, let's go and have a celebration. The food is amazing. It was wait, what, wait just, what's Icelandic food? It is mainly fish. It's uh-huh. mainly fish. Like they also fish. do lamb and they also are dairy farmers. But lamb is their like go-to meat. It's their street food. Oh, I don't um, like lamb that And much. hot dogs is their, local, oh, is their, like, is their la- local snack. As well. It's like they're on the go most I like a food. hot dog. Yeah, I'd eat um, that. Their fish is stunning. Yeah, like yeah. chips, like battered or... Um, yeah, no. they, they do all of that. Yeah, they do. And then we went... Mm-hmm. Then we mm. went back to Reykjavik and um, had a gorgeous dinner. And when we sat down at the dinner, there was this older lesbian French couple beside us. And they were so happy. And we were like, what is this trip? It was honestly wild. And I what never felt luckier. What do older French lesbians eat? Oh, they, they ate. Was it just wine and cigarettes? No. <laughs> no, uh, they were outdoorsy. <laughs> no, they were a- outdoorsy lesbians. One of them oh, was, oh, one of them was really grumpy and one of them was really smiley. So <laughs> and she was taking a picture of the grumpy one and I was like, "Oh, do you guys want a picture?" And the fr- the grumpy one was like, "No." And then the friend right. the friendly one was like, "Oh, but but maybe." And I was like, "You were so quick to say no to the grumpy one." And she was like, Bleh. Fine. Buff, and buff. then I took a picture of them and then the grumpy <laughs> one liked it and all the lesbians were smug. It was cute. I'm just happy for you. Thanks. It was you great. went on the like Narnia trip of a lifetime. But also there were so many points where it could have gone badly. Like I kept thinking like <laughs> if the bus didn't pick us back up, if we if the hostel was shit, if the whales didn't show up, yeah. if like anything had gone wrong. Every we got so lucky. But if if the bus hadn't shown up, you just wait for the next bus. No, that's not how it worked. Okay. At all. We had to catch, we got a tour that we got off early and we happened to, Ellen managed to get them to like pick us up on the way back in the next day mm-hmm. or the two days later. But it, if he hadn't, we did go on one tour that was a little tricky. Yes. Um, okay, so we went on this Golden Circle tour from Reykjavik the What's second the last day. What's Golden Circle? You basically go and see a bunch of sites and you go to a secret lagoon. Um, and. <sighs> The Secret Lagoon actually was kind of lido vibes, but uh-huh. hot, so nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but we got in the van and we were taken to lunch in this like tomato farm. <laughs> it was honestly unbelievable. But the point is, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But wait, wait, wait. is that like a, a an actual tourist hotspot in Iceland? Is a tomato farm? Oh no, you walk into these extensive greenhouses where all these tomato vines are growing and you're served this most the f- like fresh tomato soup off the table with olive and um cheese bread and you're like oh, this it's heavy everything was mad it was like crazy a tomato farm it was stunning okay. it was stunning with your accent and the way you described it it sounded really good but essentially what you have described is a greenhouse and soup Helen, in, like, a mo- in a month feel, in a month yeah. when you haven't had a tomato or a lettuce in this country you're going to be telling me you want the address for the tomato farm. Now, can I tell my story? Thank you. Yes. So this man's driving the tour bus and he is a prox 174 years old. Love that for him. He can't hear a word. So if you ask him any questions or you ask him to turn down the heating, which he keeps on excruciatingly high, <laughs> he's like, he just ignores. <laughs> he forgets to, that when the mic is on, he forgets when it's off. Every, like it's chaotic. He only tells you about the thing after you've seen the thing. So you're like, oh, I guess that would have been useful to know when we were there. He keeps the mic on at all times, but he <laughs> what the fuck? He is this? breathes so loudly, like me. So it's like having a like. It's like he brought like the way Ellen described it. I think is so right. It's like having a stethoscope to the mic. Like he did, the whole tour was this. <sighs> 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 And that, 
on like the iciest roads in the world where you're pretty sure he can't see very well. It's like one of the most ominous sounds I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and it took a while to figure out what it was. It was like, what is that sound? Is that? Oh, that's his breathing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did you not think I was around? Like... It did make me miss you. I'll give you that. Um, do you want your gift now? Yes. Okay. So I. Well, po- two. I get two. I put po- no. I posted on Instagram being like, "Fuck, I gotta get Helen a gift," and everyone was like, two. And I was like, "I'm in the most expensive." When did you post that on Instagram? I didn't see that. <laughs> You were in New York. You're too busy to look at my stories. Oh, I guess I was too busy. Mm-hmm. Um, well, did you say you got the two? But hang on. Like, a hundred of our listeners messaged back being like, you yeah. mean two? You mean yeah. two? You mean yeah. two? Maggie, two. you mean two? Yeah. Maggie, two you mean Maggie's. two? And I, I'm sorry, but I was in the most expensive country in the fucking world. So you got one. You got one? Are you joking? No. I okay, got, that's fucking pathetic. I bring you one gift for holiday. That's not crazy. Oh, well, you don't bring me one gift for holiday because you didn't. Okay, I'll see the Maggie. Let me see the Maggie and I'll decide. If it's not a Maggie, I swear to fucking God, <laughs> it's not a Maggie. Is it actually not? Can I tell you something before? No, you... no, actually, I'm pissed off. It is I'm a actually... Maggie. Okay, okay, great. I'll take it now. Jesus, can I tell you something first? Yes. Icelandic people are really into mythology, which also made me think of you. <laughs> and most of their mythology is around two types of creature, elves or trolls. <laughs> So <laughs> the dynamic of all of the stories is this. Where they have a story and they're in inter- interaction with an elf, yeah. the human always loses out and the, it always goes well for the elf. Trolly, trolly. For a troll, the dynamic is it always goes in the human's favour and the troll always suffers. Oh no, poor Helen. So... Poor little Helen. Which do you think I thought you would Trolly? <laughs> trolly, obviously trolly. Who wants an elf? Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, I it's love her. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> no, I love her. <laughs> She's got oh, a flag as a blanket. <laughs> I'll take a picture and put it up on Instagram. Isn't I love cute? her so much. As soon as I saw her, I was like, that's my Helen. I love her. She's called Helen. No. No, I just decided. Oh, now. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's gorgeous. Do you like her? Yes, yeah, so much. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, well, I'm um, glad. I heard a mythology story the other day. Go on. Gwyneth told me. Mm-hmm. So she heard it on another podcast, not ours. Don't get me started. Okay, she listens to other ones. Here we fucking go. And she has the time. Um, I don't know. Okay. Um, so, oh, I love her. Um, I like her little feet. She's just, she's just gorgeous. She's just. This is a really, this is top quality, Maggie. Woo-hoo! This is top quality. <laughs> so ugly. I do have um, gifts for us, actually. Okay, but I have to tell you the myth, sir. Okay, so this is mad. So do you know that you can't put, a, like you know, like a regular standard size light bulb, you can't put it in your mouth and get it back out again? Like You can get it in, but you can't get it out. And so this guy at a party. How? What? So you like a standard light bulb, like the uh, what are they called Edison bulbs? Oh no, or like now normal we have ones. visions of the listeners at home trying. So like, don't this. you? But you mustn't. Gwyneth really made this very clear to me when she's telling me that you mustn't try. You you really mustn't. So someone was at a party and they got told that fact and they were like, "Well, That's I want to try it, except that they're dirty, so I would so never." <laughs> they put a light bulb in their mouth and it got stuck. <laughs> they couldn't get it out. Obviously, the only way to get it out was to smash it. No. So they got they so no. they called they called an Uber and they went to A and E and they got to A and E and when they were in the Uber the Uber driver was like what the fuck Obviously. it's just like a dude there like oh, A and E A and E <laughs> and then get why some, can't you get it out <laughs> it's just gone like your jaw like locks around it and you can't get back around again like you can, but whatever so they gave it to A and E second are we going stem of the pear in first or bulb? so like bulb bulb in okay. I'm assuming. Um, so they get to Annie and Annie's like, yeah, okay, so we have to, we need to inject with a muscle relaxant and then we can just pop it out. What and he was like, okay, fuck? great. So they inject him with a muscle relaxant, popped it out. And so his jaw is like really loose and he goes straight back to the party and is like, now I can prove him wrong. I've got a muscle relaxant in me. So he pops the bulb back in. No, <laughs> no, no. Did he get it out again this time? No, he got it. Oh, Fuck off. So he calls another cab and goes back to a- the same A and E. I would go to a different A and E. And he's sitting in the same A and E. And he goes back in and goes, oh yeah, oh, 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 oh bloody, oh, oh. and as he's sitting in A and E, oh, he looks to his right, and the Uber God. driver from the first journey is there oh, with a light bulb sticking out. 
First of all, I don't know if I believe it. I believe it. Do you, do you know what mythology is? Yes, something that might or might not be true, but yet to be proven. A myth. Helen, no, that's... <laughs> a myth, a myth. Yes, yeah, something that may or may not be true, but yet to be proven by science. Yes, by... but a myth and, the, like, historical or, like, narrative mythology are not the same. Define myth, then. Well, I think what you've just said is, like, a, a myth. A, although that does transpire to be true, I, if you believe it. Um, I believe it. It's more like things like mythology as in, like, like Henry Norse VIII. gods and um, not Henry VIII. He's actually a historical figure. Mm-hmm. Like... Mm. Like, like we just talked about trolls and yeah. elves and demons and ghosts. Well, trolls are real. Okay. Because in Frozen, he's a bit of a fixer upper, and he's got a few. I'm um, so the. Uh, I don't know what to say now. Generation for a human hug. Can we try the? Um, I've got um, another. I've got thing, I've but with got Ellen. Another his, <laughs> I got another historical fact. Wait, I wanted to tell you that um, you oh. would have loved our first tour guide who wasn't a hundred years old because and um, we got on the bus and he was this really really tall Icelandic man. Was his he name gay was, and beautiful? No, oh. he was straight, but his name was. I thought he was gay initially, but then he talked about his fiance. His <sighs> name was Simon. And he was like <sighs> Simon, like the Icelandic for Simon, which you can also call me. Sometimes people panic and they shout out semen and I won't answer to that <laughs> he was like anyway what can I tell That's you about me fun. I'm from Iceland I'm a Gemini and he Gemini's on the boat on the bus and then one woman was like yes he was like what's the date and he was like oh good Gemini <laughs> now um if you don't know any of us you do know us we're spontaneous we laugh a lot he was like doing awful I was like what is this tour? <laughs> he was great. He also believed in ghosts. Listen, he's only seen ghosts. He sounds enchanting. <laughs> yeah, I think you would have loved him. So, yeah. Oh, my God. That's so good. Can't recommend it enough. I think really I need to go to lucky. Iceland yeah. on my year of travel. I think you do, too. It was honestly amazing. And I can give you this oh incredibly intense schedule that Ellen made that we were not allowed to deviate from. I, I like to be busy on holidays, but I so definitely do I. don't need a... I like to have, like playing around time it was nice because we are very similar which is that we want to be busy the whole time see I want to have like a good like half a day just to sit in a square and smoke and drink coffee and just like people we watch. did do some walking around and like some like we had a long, lot of long meals yeah Um, but I would say we are both like okay well we don't want to waste our lives or time like the, we get the most anxious I think the two of us if we feel like either of us has wasted a day I so kind as a of pair, you, as a pair you can imagine we are a oh, fun time but it's who you go away with so like this Salzburg trip that I'm going on for my birthday like Emma Black's booked it so I guess I just chill out yeah like that's Emma's problem now yeah like yeah. I mentioned the idea of the holiday tour and within 12 hours <laughs> she'd booked a hotel flight sent me links to what I needed to do yeah and also booked on our friend Ellie I was like fair fucking place Ellie Emma. sent me an itinerary <laughs> that had photos <laughs> so uh, good. So I was like, and categories like subcategories of things there were like lots of questions as they went I was like Okay, great. This is amazing. Heaven. But it depends on where you are, whether you take, like, in Disney World, I was 100% in control. Yeah. Like, in Dublin, you were in control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, true. until you left and I got to go to the Waxback Museum. But and didn't you, that was on my recommendation, though. Didn't you have a lovely time? I thrived. You thrived. I thrived. Maybe is the word of the um, week. Hey, where's my gifts now? I have, okay, well, it's, well, it's, 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 I, I. I'm ready. You made it very clear you didn't want a Maggie. I asked for melatonin, but I assume you didn't You did that. not get that, note. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> um, but because it was too specific, but okay. I got us American snacks to try. Yeah, obviously Andrew's not here today. Good, but we, get more. we can pretend that um, we saved some for him, which we won't. We won't. Like, we won't. Fuck that so guy. I haven't tried any of Hi, these, Andrews. but I recognise all of them from names from TV shows. Yeah, so I think they're things. Gimme, 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 okay. gimme, gimme. Start with animal <gasps> crackers. Whoa, I've never had. These. I've heard about them though, I've heard right? About them too. But I don't know. Are they like, like from kids? Lunches. Are they like um? I don't know. Oh my god! I've heard about these favorite bite-sized cookies available in reclosable. Who wants a reclosable bag? We're not well, you guys do. These are all resealable because <gasps> you might want what to. What is this? Peanut butter M and M. Oh fuck yes! Yes. Who knew? Yes. Oh my god! I love peanut butter. This is so exciting. And then I got sweets. <gasps> and by swear, the M and M has peanut butter hair on this. Yes. Funny. Jolly Ranchers. That's a yes, thing, isn't yes. it? I've heard about all these, but I've never tried any of them. Blue raspberry, green apple, cherry, grape, and watermelon. Oh my, Jolly Ranchers. Do you love? I really love. These are amazing Shall choices. Shall we um, try them in the patron extras this week? Yeah, I'd love to. I feel like we should do that, right? I'd love to. Okay, so let's welcome our guest. I oh my God, no, I'm next. so excited because I love her so much. Please welcome the wonderful Heidi Regan. <laughs> Hello, 
Thank you so much for listening to Trusty Heart. Thank you so much. We just wanted to jump in really quickly and give our patron a little plug. Because it is thriving over there. Yeah, thanks so much to everyone who's joined. And if you want to join us, there's no pressure. Please enjoy the podcast otherwise. But if you do want to join us, there's so many benefits. You get an early access to the ep- episode. Mm-hmm. You get an extra episode a week. And you also get early access to our live shows. Now, the last one sold out in under 24 hours. So you <sighs> want to be a patron if you want to come to the one on June 4th, mm-hmm. uh, which will be on sale very soon. Please join. Please sign up. Please get a ticket. And hey, thanks to everyone who has already. And just a reminder, if you sign up now, there are over 70 extra episodes that you can access immediately. How many? Over 70, oh Catherine. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. But for now, please continue enjoying Trusty Hog. Bye. How you going? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I've Nailed never it. seen you throat. Say how you going. Uh, how you going? That's that how I nice. say it, Nailed isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. That's how you going? Really. How, how you going? going? Yeah. You're so Australian because you've taught me a lot of things about Australia that I didn't know before. So like, as? what's a Legionnaire cap? You oh. know? Nope. Yeah, it's a cap for the losers. So they've got like a little sun protection on their back. Um, you mean us? How, you mean us? How young does my neck look? <laughs> yeah. It's a mullet for the head. Gorgeous. I wore one uh, every day of my life, inside and out, from age uh, seven until twelve. I respect the hell out of that. I would get one now if I could get one. Don't it, the smell that it creates on your head oh. stops you having friends until you stop wearing. Oh, it. but you should. Why would it cream? smell bad? Well, because it was a hot summer and I was sweating and wearing my hat <laughs> everywhere, and I couldn't take it off inside because I had like hat hair, mullet hair. You couldn't wash it though? Or I don't, th- I was nine, I didn't understand. Swap it out? <laughs> I had two, I had my fancy one, I wore a formal occasion. <laughs> the the school, wedding leave yeah. man. <laughs> the school one was uh, bright yellow and then my fancy one had like fluoro stripes. What's a fluoro stripe? It was the like 90s. Floral. Okay, floral, <laughs> yeah. okay. Oh, flu- was that one of those Australian things? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, no no skin cancer. Like here, fluorescent. So. <laughs> like fluorescent. Is that what you Yeah, mean? fluoro. Do you not? Fluorescent. Fluorescent. Do you not? No, is we, that wouldn't, a, we, oh, would no, never, we would never. We would never. That's just one of our quirks. So <laughs> we would quite adorable. Not, yeah. Yeah. Like when I go to Australia this year, I'm going to come back and be just <gasps> yeah. like you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're going for three weeks, pal. Yeah. To enough time to ingratiate into the culture. Someone told me on my last visit that I, she went, I'm sorry, Heidi, but you don't sound Australian. And it was, I didn't know her well and it was really hurtful. <laughs> That's the ultimate fear. You are so scared of losing your accent. Yeah, I don't love it. And also, like, it doesn't help that if I go home and say something like cupboard, my family are like, Ooh, <laughs> here she comes, the Queen of Sheba. And you're like, what? It's the dish hole. <laughs> <laughs> We have a keep up with China. <laughs> That's not really. I got so confused. confused. Yeah. Uh, no, but we call it a press. Oh, oh. La- yeah, yeah, I know. A press. Yeah, a cupboard's a press. Uh, Why is that now? Uh, Why is it a cupboard? Oh, because uh, it's the board that you keep the cups in. I guess it's where we um, compress things, as in keep them. I got, I I got was calling thongs flip flops. In Australia. Oh, God. Very, very but also, it's so weird when you call them thongs here because people are like, don't yeah. talk to me about it. I We're in know. our 30s. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. No more yeast infections. We're finally free. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did either of you wear thongs growing up? Of course. Which, I still Which time are we talking? Like, we're talking ass, ass thongs. No. Ass I, thongs. I don't want to brag, but <laughs> I would get thrush like that. I had it. <laughs> I, 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 there's not much I can wear without <laughs> bringing on trash. I understand. I, I'm liking. really glad to share that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I could never get into thongs. I had two pairs that friends bought me for like my They're 13th or 14th birthday. It's not right. And like, I would try and do the whale tail thing because that was like a sexy thing at our school. Oh, What's Jesus. So like when you've got the thong showing, so you put it above your love handles the and then like low rise your school? Crowded. What the fuck was so wrong with your like, school? Like, <laughs> oh, to tell the story my sharpener. And then you'd be like, there's my crack <laughs> and stuff. That. But like it's it's such a tricky. It's just this so... is why you need a good kilt as part of a school uniform. Can I say that? Did you have kilt? We had very long pleated skirts. Oh, they were, they yeah, were yeah, midnight yeah. blue. Yeah. Um. May I say that I 
think of a thong as an indoor underwear. I think it's for like putting on and then immediately revealing for sex. Yeah. It's not like, it's like you put it on because your like, partner's coming around and you're going to cook dinner and then immediately take your clothes off. That's fine. But it's not like a more than two hour wear. No. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. I just, I just don't think I'd own something that would just be for like half an hour wear. I've literally never worn one. All I think when I look at them is wedgie. Like, yeah, is that's it, what it does is. It, like, do you feel it the whole time? I did. I did. I was so hyper aware of the fact that I was wearing a thong. I couldn't, like, I was just walking around school being like, I'm wearing a thong. I have two I'm categories of underwear. Thong. I have sex underwear and real life underwear. I'm never the twain shall meet. Never the twain shall meet. Never the twain shall meet. <laughs> Which are you wearing? <laughs> well, I'm outdoors, so... It's the sex it's one. The sex. <laughs> no, it's my yeah, giant yeah, yeah, yeah. for living pants. Yeah, yeah. But those are the only pants I have. Yeah, I me fuck, too. I, I buy, like, I think we all do this. Like, every now and again, you're like, I'm... I want to put loads of like effort into myself, but I don't want to do anything. So you just buy like a new bra or a new yeah. piece of underwear, and you're like, that'll be enough of a nod to be a new me. And I get like something sort of like sexy. Like I usually go for French cut. Nice. Like the nice. you know the sort of like it's like square Higher. at the top and then like high leg sort of yeah. like like lacy. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. And then I think that's like sexy enough. Yeah. But I never wear it because it's uncomfy and it all rides up. And like I get it riding into the ass. And then also because I've got like a fat stomach apron, like when the underwear goes down the front of the apron and tucks it underneath. It's like, <laughs> but you're walking around, you can feel it going, no, 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 no. <laughs> if, you're wearing, if you're wearing it, but when naked, no, but like when simply in it, no one can see it. It feels like it's not worth the effort. Yeah, it's not- <laughs> if it's disappearing to your ass and under your stomach then it's like well what you might as well just be nude but you know you're wearing it that i know i know so like, can, we not, can we yeah, not you don't, you don't want to be you don't know what i mean to say is if you take off your clothes and it's not lo- it's not visible yeah yeah then it's not the right underwear for your body i think i just think i should go crotchless from now onwards crotchless is nice i've never worn crotchless crotchless is nice do it is it like just as in it's normal undies and then there's Hole. It's yeah, like you've yeah. got like a, a hammock for one labia and a hammock for the other. Yeah, labia. like he's <laughs> and they hammock their way in and out. <laughs> from what I can gather from what I've seen, right? You sort of like you you lay each. Are you like constantly going? Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, back in your swing. Uh, back oh in God. your swing, baby girl. Jesus. Christ. And then they just sort of like I guess they just sort of like go boo 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 as you're as you're walking along. Kind of what it is, isn't it? And then they've got like a little, um, a little box for the clit at the top. <laughs> Everywhere's got its. So place. how are you, Heidi? <laughs> are you good? I'm good, thank you. Hey, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> thank you. Um, you, uh, what's up with you? You got? Didn't you get married recently? I did get married. I got. Congrats! Thank you. Thank you. Awesome chat. I've um, I've not done a proper, we've not done a proper wedding, but we got married a year, a year ago. Like in a week or something. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you should know that. Yeah, yeah. I think we've three. answered I the know. first question we have, which is, who's the man? <laughs> oh, here we go. We are both very bad at that, I would like to say. Uh, but right. we... Um, Blame yeah, her we, as well, Simon. Yeah, we're, we're, she's awful person as well. Um, and this is my vows, I'm quoting. Uh, and we got married in a rush. Like We had three days to organise it, just went to the local council Why in did an you have three days? it was i was going to australia we had mm-hmm. an ibf delay and we were like oh it will be easier admin if we're married like for my romantic yeah, that was, again this is how i prefer yeah. <laughs> romantic. i'm already engaged but yeah but and so then we got married in a rush and then uh we just went to australia at christmas so we had a like we told everyone we said yeah, to yeah. everyone it's a wedding not a wedding and then everyone got there and they went, this was a wedding. And we were like, we didn't know it was a wedding because our friends made it look like oh, a wedding. So it was very nice. So That's yeah. so cute. So yeah, but then we're going to do one here at some point. We just got to, you know. So nice. Does um, it feel different being married? Um, No. You don't wear rings? No, uh, that's again an admin reason. <laughs> Rather than we've, uh, it's been over a year, we haven't got around to getting the rings um, or engaged rings. And yeah, Why should you? It's on the to-do list, but have you seen to-do lists these days? They, yeah, they, they are, are crazy. Tell you what people are doing now, which I think is amazing, because metal's a scarcity. Mm. Um, you tattoo it. 
Oh, you get a tattooed wonderful. ring onto you, yeah. and it's permanent all around your finger. Oh, yeah, I'm and you not... can have it in like tribal markings all the way around. <laughs> so it's something like, like whatever. culturally yeah, yeah. appropriate. Well, you're Australian, yeah. like, so oh, you've yeah. got like, so, like yeah. racism yeah. 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 No. Yeah. No. yeah, but you could get matching tattoos on your fingers. Yeah, yeah. That's against just the admin there. Yeah. So. Well, no, you can. You have to. It's not an appointment thing. You just show up in Camden and yeah. just say this, please. Just, I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> the year anniversary seems like a nice time to get rings. It does, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah that's a lot of pressure on you five, for five days, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, I, how hard can it be? But it seems Not really hard. hard. Yeah. Not hard. I don't understand. We just, I, I love just admin. Keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, admin. Like, and was, jewelry. So <laughs> I don't really relate to any of this. Yeah. You know what I propose to with this, do you? I do, and it's Catherine won't like it. You no. can tell her, but she won't like it. Don't say a Haribo ring. I don't know if it's better or worse than that. Don't say a hula hoop. Uh, no, it was what I had on hand. The because I was like, we've got to pick one together because you won't like what I'd pick, so I'll wait. So I'll have a standing ring. It was my uh, toy Lord of the Rings ring, <laughs> and just to make it nice, the cat doesn't like Lord of the Rings, <laughs> but I but love Heidi it. Loves Clearly, it. you ha- like it enough to have the merch. <laughs> have the Heidi like- has the merch, not cat. Oh, I have the yeah. merch. Yeah. I had a ring for fun. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm going to propose. You have a wife and I don't. <laughs> but I only for now. Like, I would not be confident <laughs> with a tattooed only ring. For now. <laughs> like, I think the difference with marriage is everything you do, you see it as chipping away at that bond. Mm-hmm. Whereas when you're not married, you're like, building oh, I'm up. building up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really yeah. funny. Then That's you're like, so I'm at funny. the top now. The only way is to make her regret. So funny. I think we always have a classic yeah. couple of similarities. Cat's so just funny. like so cool and effortlessly amazing, and you're just like this like lump of dweeb and loser. Whoa. Like it's just well, no, we know Heidi. Come it's on now, brand. we're good friends. It's we my can brand. say it. Yeah. Like, like, come on, like Heidi spent most of lockdown playing Spider-Man games on like a computer. Like, I'd already oh. finished Spider-Man, okay. so that's wrong. But okay. yeah, I would have if I could. Mean, like, <laughs> you were okay, but it shows you can get the yin to your yang, you know. Mm. But like, but I, then you can chip away at that. You can chip yang. away at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would love to have someone to chip away at. <laughs> so I'm just doing it to friends instead of like. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, and they don't even have to live in the same house as you. Well, they do. Sunil does. Oh yeah, of course. Ruining him. The I mean, you've been friends yeah. with Sunil since before I met him. Have you noticed the change? I'm trying to think if he's become more emotionally open, and he doesn't <sighs> flinch when you hug him now. Yeah, he's better at that. I think you've done that. I think that's your your. Thank you. Yeah. He flinches at me. Yeah, but, but not with anyone else. Everybody yeah, yeah, else yeah, yeah. relief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Wow. So, what is your show at Soho about? It, it well, funny. You should ask. It's got a lot of that in it, but it's like it's a really stupid show. But right. it happens to like mention occasionally, you know, the like the funnest. Lightest way, uh, like a couple of years at IVF, <laughs> but in a fun way. But who doesn't want to hear yeah. about the ultimate lesbian IVF Lord of the Rings journey? It has a lot, a lot of the rings in. It's got videos, <laughs> multi, I everything I can do it. to distract from any moment of anyone uh, like g- phenomenal, worried. phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. That's it's so good. Constant distract, and a, a, a whole theme throughout it is uh, Cat being good at admin. So you would. Lose you would have a character right. that you warm to in the to show. Get the ring sorted, cut. So I don't know. Yeah, what but you that's a very good point. To, you can't have a. Don't tell me you have a spare ring just in case someone proposes. No, to not at all. <laughs> not at all. But I would be like. No, now I'm worried. You actually do. I don't. Do. I do not. But I would be like, oh, you haven't chosen one. Well then. I have booked us three places to go see some tomorrow. Oh, you've still got so much therapy to do. <laughs> like letting go and go no, on the flow. No, Ka- you- Catherine, I think that's the right way because yeah, Kat they think still like- hopes I'm going to level Learn. up. And she needs to come down into the mire <laughs> yeah. with me yeah. and take care of it. And you are like going, I'll take care of it. I would be like, wonderful. I'd be like, grab your wallet. We have an appointment. Yeah. You guys should get matching Legionnaire caps for your first <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think that's genuinely the kind of admin I could If you do. buy Legionnaire hats before you buy that woman a ring, I will I end would stupid. I'd be like, Helen came up with it. Don't you love it? <laughs> She'll be like, I'm a fucking doctor. A the cat's doctor. very good at gifts. She once sent me um, a personalised Love Island water bottle. It How was her good idea. is that? Yep. That's really Incredible. It was one for you and that's one really for Nicola Ray. Ray. 
Yeah. Wow. Our friend in the fifties. <laughs> he fucking loved it. I love that. Did he ever watch Love Island? It was because no. he, he was staying with was you, staying and we were like, "You need to have." <laughs> That's so cute. That's it was so very good. cute. It's um, good gifting. Would you Catherine help us? Me one gift from uh, holiday to Iceland. By the way, what you missed that? it. A magnet, obviously. Yeah, but just um, one. I know about your. Um, I think from the podcast, you having spare Christmas gifts on hand in your bag in case someone. In case someone gives me one that I wasn't expecting. Thank you yeah. for listening, Which is, Heidi. Thank, thank you for listening, thank Heidi. That is really nice. When you said that, I was like, I can't even <laughs> give I, my yeah. mother a gift. I've done so much admin that I'm now looking for admin. Yeah. And so I have to buy gifts for people who may potentially surprise me with a gift. That is what did I get you for your birthday this year? Oh, my God. I think I missed it. No, you brought... You brought me a cupcake. Oh, yes, I brought you cupcakes. Yeah, remember, it's my birthday coming up soon. Yes. Okay. When is it? March 25th. And it's the first time that, because it's the same as Kat's birthday, so I miss it every year. Now Kat's away for it, but Helen is also away for it. No. I still think you should spaff all your money and come to Salzburg. I know, it's just... um, Come the money. Did, didn't, you, didn't you hear the IVF bit? Yeah. yeah it costs a lot. Didn't you hear the wedding yeah. rings bit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, Lord of the Rings ring, that can't be cheap. <laughs> Can it? Nope. Nope. 17 pounds. <laughs> that's online. 17 pounds. For the Merch is expensive. <laughs> and you must remember that. I know because I looked it up to maybe buy a second one in case yeah. I lost that one. <laughs> that's the admin you got to oh keep on top of. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm going to watch Lord of the Rings this year. I feel like I'm going to do it. Have you never watched? No, but I'm doing so good watching new films, aren't I? Be fair, Catherine. You are. I watched are. Harold and Maud for the first time the other day. I've never seen that. Really good. Really I wish good. you'd watched When Harry Met Sally. I've seen it. Oh, you have? Okay. Oh, who is it that hasn't? Why did I imagine that was I you? don't know. <laughs> Some <laughs> freak. Sorry. It's Sorry. good that you can empathise. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hey, I don't think it should be an admin problem, Em, but do you have a problem for us that Heidi can help us solve? I, I don't think it should be admin so related. Nervous, yeah. If it's yeah. about lesbian proposals, I'll be over the moon. And if it is, I'll, I'll answer it alone. It's actually about straight people. Well, <gasps> I, I we can't say whether or not they're straight. Straight it's, it's a straight about relationship. About straight, like a problem with straight people. It's a yeah, problem okay. with straight people. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> they're in your face. Just so everyone knows, I'm aware that it's almost problematic being straight at the moment. And I'd like to say that I'm aware of the problem, but I'm not doing anything to fix it. Great. I exist and I will take up space. Perfect disclaimer. Thank you. Um, okay, this is from V. Hi, Hi v. v. Oh my God, V from um, Going Out With Joe from Team Mum um, oh, Two. Or V for Vendetta. That's oh, where I went. That's where I went. Oh God, it's nice to have an old person. Oh, I'm now in I've saved my head. Give me an old. It's a great time. Thank God, it's good to have another adult. Sky Fox, Sky Fox. Yeah. I know the film. Carry on. Okay. Thank you so much for creating Trusty Hogs. It brings me so much joy every You're week. welcome. I have a problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lovely boyfriend who I've been with for five years. We live together and have two kittens, but I'm only in my 20s and I feel like I've become 45 almost overnight. Yeah. How can I experience the fun, adventures and craziness that's only possible in your 20s while having a stable partner and steady job? More context if, if helpful. I see friends regularly, book club, gym, playing badminton, dinner parties. Uh, but even my socialising feels quite routine now. It's you. I don't have any doubts about my boyfriend. He's fab, but naturally quite introverted. So brings less of an adventurous energy. Oh. I mean, I've got some very easy answers for this. Me too. Okay. Heidi? But first, Heidi. Um, well, this is... It's a, I feel in a lot of emotions. I'm the less adventurous one in the partnership. Mm. I also was single basically nearly all of my 20s and like the start of my 30s. No shame in that. No shame. How old Thank were you, you when you met your wife? Uh, 35. Okay, interesting. So it was a long, long yeah. time in the in the cool swinging singles <laughs> that this person is I craving. Re- I always remember you being so cool. You, I was swing- very cool <laughs> and you often would say, oh, you've got, you're fine, Heidi. You're not really bad at dating or no. the opposite of no, that No, I was definitely the wouldn't case. say that. I definitely wouldn't say things I like... I remember that. You'd be going around being like, Heidi's so bad at dating. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, what the fuck, man? I think I was more like, you're gay, Heidi. <laughs> oh, no, I was out. Yeah, yeah, we all knew that. But okay. I was very bad at meeting anyone. I don't think I said you were bad at dating. I think I said you were bad at... Um being, being getting into gay spaces. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't in know that, any. Like, you didn't go I there just any. knew you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and cats that, the same. It but also like... to be clear, it would be. It wasn't just like a, I wasn't just like a Heidi. So should have dating. Heidi would be like, I'd like to date, and I'd be like, sweet. What have you done about that? And you'd be like, well, I'm at this coffee. <laughs> like, Heidi, you're gonna have I'm to do just... more than that. You're good at admin. Find me a wife. <laughs> but then didn't you go on like one date, and that was your wife? 
No, uh, no, I went on a few horrific dates. Did and then you? I went on one very nice date and I went, lock it down. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, so in regards to this, um, like I was saying to Kat the other day, it's nice that we met when we were older because we don't have the, like, we both got to have very fulfilled lives mm -hmm. outside and all that. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I wasn't doing anything amazing. So I don't think that if you're not, you know, fucking around all through your 20s, you're going to uh, miss out. Yeah. So in conclusion, break up with him <laughs> and regret it. Okay. No, that, no, no, don't. That's a bit <laughs> funny. You know what? Fascinating. I wasn't considering the breakup, but I think that is an option that we I should don't, consider. I don't, I don't think you should break up. I okay. think whatever she does, she will think about the other options for the rest of her life. So sorry about that. Basically, the grass is always greener. So grass you is always enjoy. greener. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, well, fresh off my trip from Iceland... Can there I say? Go. No, what I was gonna go say. Go whale watching. What I what I was gonna say was actually <laughs> that though. I was I am the less adventurous one in the in the pairing, yeah. and I would literally never have gone on that holiday unless I was dating this person, and everything about it was outside my comfort zone and like an outdoorsy, cold, mm -hmm. egg, like kind of exploring holiday that was like not focused around where I could get my nails done or a nice yeah. hotel. I genuinely, I it's not my idea of, and it was easily hands down the best trip I've ever been on. Mm -hmm. And so I do think like getting out of your comfort zone is pretty good and you can do that with, sometimes that's because you're in a relationship, not because you're outside of one. So yeah, yeah. I think you're right to like be sure about your boyfriend, but also to go, okay, how do I do this? I think first of all, on a micro level, like you saying, like I do lots of things, but you are, as you say, in a routine of doing the same things. So maybe like moving your body in a different way would feel good. Like maybe do a dance class, maybe do a trip with Moving they... your body in a different way. Is that what way? I said? Is that a phrase that just came out of your fucking mouth? <laughs> <I said, laughs> that's what I said. You should be a fucking shame. Maybe of yourself. join a walking maybe group. Maybe move your body in a different <laughs> maybe way. Maybe join a walking group. Where you the make fuck new fuck friends. Do you think you are? Where you make new friends. Sorry, did you hear that? Are you and as upset as I am? I just love the like, you will no longer grow crave another man's touch <laughs> by joining a walking oh, what, group. No, I, don't, no, I, I, I don't think that she was looking. I thought, she, I know, I thought no, V's no. problem wasn't was that she likes her boyfriend. She likes yeah, no, him, but she's on, worried about I love that you won't accept in that. a different way. Just no, do it in a like, different go way. Go for it. Like, do a dance class. Do, do a, a yoga class. class. Is, her, is her worry that they've met too young? Is I that they're no, boring? No, yeah, they're not. She's not worried about her. She likes. But wow, I cannot believe I'm the one who has to be like, this straight girl likes her boyfriend and wants to stay with him. I She's understood just that worried that their life has gotten kind of stagnant. Yeah. yeah. And that she wants to do more adventurous things. So I was thinking maybe a class would be good because it reinvigorates your brain. It doesn't yeah. have to be like movement. It could be anything. Anything that makes you feel like you're learning and progressing in life, a class would be good. Also, think about like what kind of trips do you go on and change it up? Because and I think travel is the thing where you feel adventurous, right? Also, Kat loves travel more than me just because I haven't had as much travel. And I'm always like, I would, but, you know, I've got other things on, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But she, we've always said how, like, you don't have to do every trip together either. That's yeah. what I was going to say. That's so annoying. That's what I was going to say. Oh, were you? Or were you I copying was, I from was, I was, no, no, no. <laughs> I was going to say, like, just because you feel like that segment doesn't mean that you can't go off and have adventures. Yeah. Like, be crazy in your 20s. Like, having a crazy adventure does not mean being single and sleeping with people in a hostel mm -hmm. it doesn't like you can totally like do this like bring stuff back you can go away together if you wanted but if 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 money's tight and you can't afford to travel together i've got such a good couple's activity go on. to keep it fresh online sleuthing okay <gasps> so there's loads, yeah. what? So there's loads of what? unsolved cases online you can go on like the fbi's like most wanted list and then you look them up like you know the people in those documentaries like don't fuck with cats and stuff and they find where the person is and they get them arrested and then it gets really yes. yeah so like <laughs> pick someone and find them <laughs> and then and then solve it with the police together yeah. you could be like sleuths sorry you, she's feeling 45 who's on the most wanted list at the moment I'll look it up don't worry so you want her to become like a murder catcher. Yeah. Murder. yeah, well, it doesn't have to be murder a murderer. murderer. It catcher. could be. It murderer. could be the petty thefts of your local boots. She only needs Who's to do taking it. the mascara. She only needs to do it for a few weeks, and then a partner will be like, "Okay, is it not about the sleuthing? Is something wrong with us?" And then they'll talk about their adventurousness and all that, and they'll solve that. So what Helen's suggesting will lead to the proper thing, but she she's not going to have catch. that conversation. No, no, you've got to do it via metaphor. So look at this on the on the FBI's most wanted list in the top ten. Three of them have been captured. That could have been you. Also, maybe move country for a year. 
Did rent you? out your house if you if you own it. Do you think they're all captured by women in their twenties? <gasps> Oh, I'll tell you what's refreshing. There's a woman on the most wanted list by the FBI. That is so refreshing. How about that? That's refreshing. Who is it? In the top 10, there's one woman. Catch her. Get her. <laughs> She'll be slower than her, a man. Her name is... She'll be slower. Catch her. Hide. She'll be able to... Her She'll... name is uh, Ruja Ignatova. Can I see her? Can I see yeah. her? What's she doing? She... Oh, she is um, a babe. Her crimes, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy to commit money laundering, <gasps> Conspiracy to commit securities fraud and securities fraud. Is there a podcast on her? I need to just start my best. You don't need a podcast. podcast on her. I want. Oh a my podcast. god! It's Wait, a video. It's it? a video. There's a video of her doing stand up. There's a video of her. Oh my god! I know this woman. What? what? Oh my god! I know her. What are you talking about? She's the one coin lady. She created <gass> a. Wait, I know yes! it. We listen to this podcast. She's on the most wanted list. Her podcast is so good. Oh my! Well, not her the? podcast. Like a podcast about her. Oh my god. So, is she the Bulgarian woman then? Oh, I'm thinking of a different one. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, when you create Igna, a cryptocurrency. That, well, yeah, what's her name called? What's her name? I don't know, Catherine. They're not on the list. I Igna. See, can, are you seeing how much fun we're having right now? What? You and your, your boyfriend. Your relationship is thriving. How do I know? Yeah. How do I spell her name? We're the closest we've ever been. Okay. R, R U J A. Okay, I don't know where I got the other thing from. Yep. I G N A T O V A. Oh my god, I love the most wanted list. Ruja Ignatova. Yeah. Oh my god. Is she not Bulgarian? The missing crypto queen. I have listened to a podcast yes. on her. What yes. She... Yes. Place birth Bulgarian. Right. So she. The missing Heidi, crypto queen. Has, there's a great podcast on her. It's a great podcast. Shut on her. up and let me explain. I'm just no. telling them for the research. They're going to find her. See, they the need thing. to. If you do start doing this with your boyfriend, make sure you're not quite as petty as me and Catherine are. <laughs> I think we would not be able to solve this together because we'd be so desperate to prove that we know more about it yeah. that we'd get lost. Than each other. Whereas on in like don't fuck with cats, they really work together nicely. Oh yeah, they yeah. even became friends because of it. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it ended really badly, didn't it? I think he got he got arrested in a spiti in Berlin. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, because he killed cats and then a human. Whoa. Yeah, so on camera. Who's the crypto lady? Okay, thank you for asking. Do you want to say Catherine? Because you've clearly gone into a bit of a mood. <laughs> Heidi, can you please tell Helen that I will say things when I feel like saying them? Thank you. Catherine will say things when she feels like saying them. Okay, thank you. I, do, I don't appreciate being the go-between. I don't here. appreciate Tell how you that I don't. Heidi <laughs> <don't. laughs> does not appreciate being used as a go-between. Okay, so she created, <laughs> she created cryptocurrency but did not have a blockchain for it. Which That's means there right. There was no way to transfer it into actual money. So people were buying in and like buying all this currency, and the the idea was that there would be a payout at the end of it because it was going to go to the moon and there was going to be loads of money in it. Yeah, but there was no way to get that money back so all you could do is invest in it and then it would just disappear and she'd be getting richer and richer but she managed to get on the, all these like big like TED talk style things and these big conferences so people believed it people were like putting their entire life savings into it and then she just disappeared that is a nightmare because it sounds like admin that they all got caught by admin yeah mm -hmm. and because you need a blockchain did you learn about her from Sunil? No, from this podcast. The Missing Crypto Queen. Sunil doesn't so talk good. about money with me. Apparently it frustrates him. How long is the podcast? It's like a couple of episodes. It's okay. not that long. It's very good. Do you want to hear someone else who's on the list? I've a fantastic one recently called Gangster oh. Capital. If anybody Ooh, wants what's Gangster Capital? Gangster, you would like it. Yeah. It's um The third series is hella dark, so if you're maybe not. but um, I like dark. The first one is about the college admissions scandal, and the second is about, second series is about the Vera end. Farmiga. The uh, the fame the that comes about the NRA. actress <gasps> that uh, oh it's about yeah. all the American um, yeah. yeah lawyers and actors who, who paid that? for their kids to, um Felicity Hoffman and Felicity Hoffman, the other one enough, yeah. um paid for their kids to get into university but the second series is about the NRA and the third series is about the Fulwells who ran this university in the states called Liberty which is a big Christian college mm -hmm. and basically had a code, code of ethics that they like systematically abused. Um, Tell us more about the code of ethics at Full World. It was called the Liberty Way, and it would be like you can't have a relationship that isn't between a man, like a a a man from birth and a woman from birth, and what? You, uh, basically like 
you got to be straight and you got to be cis and you got to okay. be together and you can't have sex before marriage. You can't drink. You can't curse. Like it's like this is my wild. wedding vows. Word for word <laughs> yes. Again, yes. <laughs> we're both bad people, but you have to pretend to be good. I think there's nothing less godly than a woman proposing to another woman with a Lord of the Rings ring. <laughs> like that is Everything that is, is ungodly on every level. There and is the, and nothing, one of them's a scientist. Nothing Christian about uh, that. Yeah, uh, and a scientist and a comedian. Uh, How unchristian <laughs> can you be? We were Fucking spitting on the Bible. You really were. You they really walk into were. a church that holy water's boiling over in the font. I'm telling you that for nothing. <laughs> Australia. Was that not good? Your laugh? That felt better. Your Australian laugh was the maddest thing. <laughs> 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 Good yeah, I'm hey. to stay with my parents in Australia. They haven't asked me. Oh. Do they know oh, you're coming? I have, yeah, a, yeah, I, have coming. A, I have a tricky relationship with Brian and me and Kat. You have a fine. sexy relationship. Brian. Yeah, Brian. I got married for Brian first time I met him. How about a hat? She it was a really strong choice from me about six years ago, what? and I stand by it actually. What? We, we were in our Edinburgh flat, and I and Helen was no, you were dressed, I think, or. Probably. I think she'd been in the shower. I think she was half dressed. And then I said, oh, dad's just buzzed. He's coming up. Helen runs to her room, then comes back out in just her bath towel and goes, Brian, you call me. <laughs> oh, my God, you call me. How embarrassing. And dad was, um, was dad? delighted. He was delighted. <laughs> he, went, he went bright red and was like, oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just said, uh, pick up Heidi. Uh. <laughs> That's so I was like, cute. Oh, no. What That's am I going to so do? Cute. I'm soaking. And then they came to watch you in the BBC final. Oh, the oh that's so cute. It was just me, mum and dad came to watch you. I, I remember this. Me. Yeah, yeah. The way you made it sound like nobody else oh, wanted no, no. to see you. I did, as in, I think you, <laughs> not like that. You had people for the other I ones. had friends. Stop scratching your scalp. It looks like you have nits. <sighs> right, Very Heidi, now scalp. then. What's the deal? <laughs> when, where can people come and see your show? Oh, so it is on at Soho Theatre. March 20th and 21st it's a Monday and a Tuesday night and it's called Heidi Regan gives birth live on stage every night or your money back I'm yes. going on Monday March 20th Heidi Soho this is phenomenal and tickets are on sale but also where can people find you online I'm on Twitter TikTok Instagram all of them I believe Heidi underscore Regan yes also, I will say, like, sometimes we don't say this because people are doing, like, a lot of shows. Heidi's just doing two, so you want to book in advance. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This Definitely. is one where I'd, like, book your tickets night. now because yeah. I don't want to have people messaging being like, we tried. It's like, you didn't try soon enough. Whoa. Sorry. you got to be quick. Whoa. Thank Sorry, that was so angry. Anger. I couldn't show about But, it, like, you've got to oh, be yeah, faster. Yeah. It's wild for, for Heidi's sales pitch to be, you're going to have to do this admin fast. <laughs> <laughs> I would never, but you yeah. should. And then come to a show about how bad I am at acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Best no. of luck, kids. <laughs> um, adorable. Hey, Heidi, you're such a great guest. Thanks for listening to our podcast as much as being on our podcast. Thank you very much. What's very your exciting. favorite thing about Trusty Hogs? Um, a great question. I think it's that you you pretend to fight, and then <laughs> deep down you hate. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> sees me. Thank you, Heidi thank you, Regan. Thank you. Hi, yeah. Heidi yeah. Regan. Yay! 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 Yeah. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much to our executive producers, Simon Moores, Guy Goodman, Mary Fox, Annie Tonner, Sarah Harke Deacon, and Oliver Jago. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Legends. We're so grateful to you. Also, thank you too. We have a new producer. How very You do all in one breath. Richard Bicknell, Elle, Richard Balls, Neil Redmond, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton, Karen and David Ball, Harold Van Dyke, Eddie Doyle, Tim and Dom, David Walker, Rachel R. Anthony Conway, Sadie Cashmore, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Joe Holmes, Sarah and Molly, Alex Pugh, Jos Josie W. Amy, Cordelia, Raya Fink, Rachel Page, Helen A., Tina Lindsay, Sophie Chivers, Graham Marsh, Emily G, Amy O'Reardon, Abby Wharf, Key Webb, Matt Sims. <gasps> thank you so much and welcome to Matt Sims to the Star. Guys, thank you so much for supporting us. We're so grateful we couldn't do it without you. And we I know. Really appreciate it's been you amazing. Here. It's been amazing. If you're not already a Patreon, you should be. Get on there. Come on, when work doesn't us. come in for us, it means that we can keep doing this and we don't have to run around scrabbling in a cafe. <laughs> exactly. And also, um, now if you're on the Patreon, you get the podcast without ads. Mm. Yes. Hell Please. As well as all the other benefits you get too, and the extra episodes. I mean, there's so many extra. There's an extra episode for every episode that you've had. Out. And the min shot. Anyway, Excuse thank me, you what? so much. I told you not Bye. to. Bye.